what is different about stem cells when it comes to uh, telomeres? Um, well, there's, well, basically, stem cells are able to actively lengthen their telomeres, whereas run-of-the-mill cells, like skin cells, can't. So they'll burn out within 40 divisions. Oh, but okay. um, the technical answer to that is that while all cells will make the telomerase engine, only the stem cells will have the proper key to run the engine. So mm -hmm. um, they will be the only ones that will actively lengthen their telomeres. Do our bodies make enough stem cells? I mean, we hear a lot about stem cell treatments and therapies. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the difference between the two there? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, what they're doing is they're taking cells from your fat, let's say, okay. and extracting them look, and putting them back in. Now, for example, you know, a um, friend of ours, Suzanne Summers, did that with her breast. She was the first patient she brought the trial in after years. Of but, you know, what you're doing in that case is you're putting more chairs in a high school gym than really belong there. And over time, it will start to deteriorate again because, you know, let's say I talked about the liver having 100 honeycombs, right, 100 mm -hmm. queen bees, 100 little kingdoms, queendoms. You can't force 200 cells into a 100-cell container or 200 honeycombs. In it. So when you do these, with the exception of large animal veterinary care, which they've had good success in joints and things like that, Basically, there's a set number of niches, or there's just so many stem cells that need to be there. So what you really need is directed stem cell destruction and then replacement. So what the problem is not the lack of stem cells. There's always gajillions of stem cells floating around ready to take over when someone dies. The problem is that you have these queen bees that are dysfunctional, but they don't know to get out. Mm -hmm. So what, part of what the TA does, I believe, it helps the ones that are trying to kill themselves kill themselves. And there's always, unless you're a very old person, and old people tend to have more damaged stem cells floating around, so what are you replacing it with? There's always a plethora of stem cells available to fix it. The problem is you can't get the bad ones out. Talk about how that relates to aging and how that might affect longevity. If, if the, the bad stem cells um, you know, don't kill themselves off, how do we turn that around and then affect our longevity? Well, that's the whole deal right there. I mean, the, in 20 years, you know, they, with this, the Nobel Prize this year was for um, induced pluripotent stem cells, right? So every little chemical reaction to differentiate forward and backward will just be a matter of routine. So if you can hold on for 20 years, you, Scott, can get your own liver from your own genetically identical, perfect, best copy, right? So you're going to get replacement parts that are like factory OEM, you know, 1972 or whatever it is. So th when you get to that point, you're good. Um, so the point now is you can, I just got an email from a, a patient of mine who said there's like this nanotechnology, so you could go with a magic bullet and target dysfunctional stem cells. That would be good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the good news is we do this naturally by telomerase activation. You know, you go to a mountain retreat or you start eating while you do a cleanse. You know, you meditate. It increases telomerase activity the point where you can get quantum changes in your stem cells and they die. Or you could pop this pill, which is like a total cheat, but in my opinion, it does cause the cells to just annihilate mm -hmm. and replace. Like, witness me, I was 30 pounds heavier, you know, and within three months, no diet or exercise, gone. I mean, that sounds really crazy and too good to be true, but it, it happened because I believe that my visceral fat cells were just, the queen bees were killed. And the reason it took three months was because her descendants had to go through 40 replications to burn out. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, one day, three months later, I just woke up skinny. So, you know, I really think that this is a cheat, but it's a very safe cheat. You know, if you don't have the inclination to go to the gym and eat well and be a positive person, then just pop a pill.